Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 134. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 133 to 145. Hey, Trick 134, we have an awesome trick here. This trick will allow us to always find the last item in a list. So we have some va values here, and we want to find the last value. Notice, it doesn't matter what values are here or whether they're sorted or not, our goal is just to find the last one. Now, we're going to look at three different methods to do this, and we will see a, an amazing use for finding the last value in a list when we do uh, trick 144. So here's three different ways to do it. This first one comes from Houdini at the Mr. Excel uh, discussion board. Now, um, let's do equals. Or, or we're going to have two solutions, one with a lookup and one with a VLOOKUP. But understanding how VLOOKUP works helps us understand how this trick works. I'm actually going to sort this real quick. In uh, 2007, you can right-click sort. The way lookup or VLOOKUP works is it goes racing through the list. If we're looking up the number uh, 170, this is how the function works. It goes through the list, and when it bumps into a value bigger than it, it jumps back to the row. Now, that's an analogy. It doesn't actually do it that way. But that's a perfect analogy. If we're looking for 170, it goes racing down. It sees a bigger number finally, and so it jumps back to here. Right? That's how this uh, lookup and VLOOKUP works. Now, I'm going to control Z to, to reshuffle those, to not, to unsort them. Now, if you put, what we're going to do is we're going to put a gigantic number here. So by putting a gigantic number in lookup or VLOOKUP, it keeps going through and it can never find it. So when it finally gets to a blank cell here, it just gives up and stops. And so that's a way to trick this function into finding the last value, no matter what it is, equals lookup. And we're going to use some notation here, scientific notation, 9. And you could really, if you knew how long your list was, you could just, if you knew it was never going to be than, bigger than 100, you could put the number 101 here. I'm just going to put 9e plus 10. That's a quick way of writing 9 plus 10 zeros. And then comma, and I'm going to highlight the whole column here. And there it is. It finds the last value. And we'll um, put some extra values here. If we type the word, uh, the number 43 here, now it's delivering 43 because that's the last value here. If I were to delete these two, then 650 becomes the last one. Now, uh, this is probably the most efficient one right here, but some people don't like uh, using anything but VLOOKUP, so you can do it with VLOOKUP. And actually, I saw Mr. Excel on one of his podcasts do this one. So we're going to do the same thing, 9e plus 10, comma, and we're going to look through the column A. And this is uh, the first column, so I have to type uh, comma 1. And we can leave that last argument off because uh, by default it'll do just what the lookup does by default, which is find the biggest value and then go jump back to the next row. And so that will get this formula right there. Whoops, VLOOKUP. And sure enough, 3. And if I change it, you can see that that jumps. Now, uh, another way to do this is with the offset. And I learned this trick from uh, Excel Hacks book. I don't know why you would ever want to do this one, but it does work. We want to offset, um, can do a bunch of things. It can go and get a particular value, or it can define a range. So we're going to say we're going to start in cell A1. And how far down do we want to go? Equals, and we're going to say match. What value do we want? Well, instead of typing in some huge number, you can actually use max plus 1. And then it will always find a value just one bigger than the biggest one here. So we'll do max of column A. And we want to add 1. So it adds, finds the biggest one and adds 1. And that's a, a, a different way of finding some big number. The, um, so you can use that. You could actually use this trick inside of the lookup, too. And then comma, where are we going to look for the match in this column? And then comma 1, because we're going to find greater than, or less than, which is that idea of searching through the list. And when it bumps into a bigger one, it jumps back to the next row. We're going to close parentheses. And now we need to um, 
close parenthesis. Well, okay, so we got the match there, and now we're going to have to subtract one because right now it would find six, and we need to start in A1 and go one, two, three, four, five. So we have to subtract one. Close parentheses on, not close parentheses, comma, and now the offset, we told it where to start. We told it how many rows to go down, but how many columns do we want to move left or right? Zero. We want to remain in the same column. So this is using the offset uh, to just start someplace and go find a value. Um, and we chose to use the max plus 1 instead of 9e plus 10. And so now if we change this to uh, 12, it'll find the last value. So those three ways to find the last value. In uh, trick 144, we'll use this one and show you an amazing use when you actually need to do that. All right, we'll see you next trick.